Welcome to Mini OS 9 and how to use the shortcut functionality. Shortcuts are an amazing way to, to really dive right into, no surprisingly, the functionality you need. It's a shortcut right to it. This is pretty complex, right? So there's a lot going on here. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Mini OS, no matter what new Mini you're getting, there's a little bit of a learning curve here when we think about the various things we have to do uh, to, to sort of get the most out of it. Again, not rocket science, but listen, um, it's new. And you've got to you've got to kind of wrap your head around that as just new technology. For instance, case in point, let's take a look at the apps. There's a lot of apps. There's a lot, but even more interesting when you think about, let's just go to vehicles. Some things that you need on a daily basis. Let's say I live on a dirt road and it's very hilly, really hilly. Um, let's say I actually every single day drive down a very very steep hill. Uh, there are things that actually do matter that are sitting sort of inside this type of this type of interface um automatic hold it's grayed out right now because the car's not on let's do this oh, i have to disconnect the charging cable for charging so i'm not going to do that right now but uh automatic hold you know parking brake um hill descent control um this is uh you know the energy recovery how do i want to change that these are deep inside this system and honestly, like some of it makes sense, some of it doesn't. So what if I wanna to get to charging really, really quickly, for instance, um, you know, that's, that's something that isn't necessarily at my fingertips, driver's assistance. Um, I wanna change, let's go to driving. Uh, I wanna change the distance control because, you know, when I'm in, you know, on the highway, I wanna be further away than I am in the city. Um, there's a lot of things that are really, really helpful when we think about shortcuts. So how do we do that? Um, fairly straightforward. Let's just say, for instance, that I want to save my charging as a shortcut so I can get to that really quickly. So just simply hit add to shortcuts and boom, there it is. Now you see my shortcuts. So we're going to go back now that we've seen how easy it is to add any functionality, any app, et cetera, shortcuts. Let's take a look at the shortcuts that I think are absolutely mandatory. So first and foremost, I have navigation up here and that may sound odd, but when you have CarPlay or Android Auto, they actually, many will default to the uh, default app on your CarPlay or Android Auto when you hit navigation. And you may think, hey, that's not bad because I wanna use that navigation. I'm used to Google Maps, et cetera. But Mini's new navigation is really powerful. And especially if you have an electric car like this Countryman SE, you really can have a level of integration in terms of charging, preconditioning, all the things that actually are really important to an electric car built into the navigation from Mini. And it's a really pretty good navigation system. Um, from a lag perspective, it's really not bad. Uh, the system itself takes up the entire screen versus uh, the others that we just mentioned. So there's a lot of reasons why I actually prefer this. Uh, and there's other things too, when you get into to routes that I just really like. So I love that as a, a, uh, a shortcut. Second, displays. And that may sound kind of odd, uh, but there's certain things that I wanna do from a, from a brightness standpoint, heads up display, uh, I just like to have that at my fingertips. And so having it right there is super helpful. Some of the others, let's talk about each of these because I think they're really, really important. Range prediction, I had mentioned this before. Uh, that is a really, really interesting one because you see, of course, what your range is all time. But this gives you a view into what it could be. So if I go to max range in this car, which is a setting that turns off certain lights, it turns off the heating, turns off other things, it'll bump up the range, sometimes dramatically, which is really pretty nice. Um, so nice to have access to that. I don't have to tell you why seat massage is there. <laughs> it's just something I really appreciate having at my fingertips. And as it stands, you know, when we get to, you know, uh, the seat massage, let's, let's take a look at what that looks like. I have to click into the apps. Now I'm on vehicle now, but if I go into all, which is the default mode, I have a lot of things to scroll through. I mean, a lot of things. Where, where is it? You see seats? There they are, seat comfort. Now I can click into massage. So it takes some time, 
to get to some of these 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 pieces of functionality, which I think are, are pretty important. Um, I mentioned earlier hill descent control. Uh, I, let's say I live in a big hill. I mean, literally every single day I need a little hill descent control because it's just helpful to get down. Uh, driver assistance. Uh, again, this is a really important one for a lot of different reasons. Safety warnings, driving. There's a lot of settings here that are really, really helpful uh, that you may want to change every so often. Um, assisted view. This is kind of nice to, to see this. Um, we don't see it right now. Of course, we're not driving. Uh, sorry about that. Go back here. Um, drivetrain and chassis is another one I really, really like uh, that we mentioned earlier. Uh, it's a lot more sort of is, is available when you're actually driving as well. Um, and then, of course, you have charging, which gives you a quick view into what's happening. Now, you can also click on that for charging, which, which uh, it'll bring up this small little widget. So you get the idea. There's a lot that I think is important. Um, let's add a short from, from here. And what's interesting, you can, of course, long press on any piece of navigation, or I should say any um, app within the sort of app ecosystem. And you can, let's say we want to, for some reason, save exterior lights. So you can do that and it pops up there. You can also click tap to add shortcut here and you can get right into devices, calls, um, really any number of things. I don't know why that did that. We're gonna start here. Um, you can also actually, and this is cool, save a shortcut that's an app in CarPlay. And that's one that you can't really do from CarPlay. So this is the only place to actually save CarPlay apps as shortcuts uh, in your car. So I think this is, a, a again, a really, really must have when we think about how you use this, how you use the shortcuts, et cetera. You're almost creating, and this is where it gets kind of cool, your own little operating system, your own little app tray, if you will. Um, now, one thing that I think would be awesome is so you can sort this. I am currently not parked. I'm parked, but the car's not on. And I can only assume because you see this right here, your car has to be on and then in park. So because the car's not on, but I'm in park, it doesn't work. I don't think that makes sense. But normally you could click hold and you can move around just like you can on a smartphone. These shortcuts are absolute must haves in the new mini. So you can imagine you get in your car. Um, I wanna use some of the functionality or apps I use all the time. Simply swipe up and they're right here. Scroll left to right and you've got all your apps. So highly recommend shortcuts. It's a huge, huge unlock for the new mini OS 9. You're gonna see more functionality that will make the system easier, but I don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna be more important ultimately than that shortcut setting. So once again, shortcuts at the bottom tray, uh, editable, scrollable, and really your own customized version of mini OS 9. As always, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. We have a bunch more coming. Now, back to my podcast.